He is one of those people that no matter, he never switches off from being a paramedic. When we're traveling somewhere, he's got his kit. If there's an accident or somebody in distress, he will stop, no matter what. I was on my way back from Stellenbosch on the R44, just after the Moiberg intersection. I was coming along and a vehicle wanted to go to Stellenbosch and he didn't check to make sure there was no traffic coming and he just started crossing in front of me. I slammed on brakes with such force and obviously turned and I ended up in a ditch. With the impact of hitting my brakes, I shattered my right ankle. I broke it in two places. I got a plate in the one side and a screw in the other. The initial phone call was a shock. Um, I was still, I just handed over a patient and my control room um, called me uh, to say that they had Victor on the line. And I thought it was a bit strange because um, he's a good friend of mine, good colleague. Um, but, you know, why would he be phoning through the control room? So really something didn't feel right. Um, and then when he told me... Sorry, I'm just have a moment. ER24 arrived there and it was from the minute they got there. I just felt I was in good hands. You know, I've got to be honest, the, the crew from ER24, I was a family member, I wasn't a patient. The minute they picked me up and they realised who I was, I was a family member. I mean, we get called out from a tummy ache to a cardiac arrest and Obviously, you don't want to be panicked if everyone else is panicked, so you, you do you try and stay calm, focus on that, take in what's going on around you. Um, it's a lot of information to try and absorb. Um, and then from there, you start planning or strategizing what you're going to do, what processes you're going to follow, um, and then guiding those around you to put those, those in place um, and then start your treatment. So, so to know that she was in safe hands. That, that was a big help and a, and a big relief, knowing that everyone else here was, was looking out for her as well. This is a very busy season. We see a lot of road accidents come in this, this time period. Reasons for, for car accidents are varied. A lot of the times, some circumstances, it's not your fault. You're an innocent bystander that gets caught up in somebody else's bad decisions. Remember, when people are coming into the unit, it's a foreign environment. They are going through an emotional crisis because even if it's a uh, fractured toe, that's scary and it's painful. So when somebody comes into a unit, we need to explain to them, okay, this is the process that we are gonna go through so that they're not freaking out and understand what is the next step. He's got an excellent crew around him and they will, they, they, I do believe they would be able to go to war together scenes you know we draw on each other's experiences and strengths and all of that to come together to actually just help the patient I think that benefits the patient very much. I think the most important thing is that we all have one goal and the main goal is getting the patient safe keeping them healthy and getting them home safely.